Good Monday afternoon. Everybody, how's everybody doing today? Today is the 21st of October. Today we're going to read Jesus Calling devotional and then we'll be in Psalm 113. First, let's read the Jesus Calling devotional for today. To live in my presence, I'm sorry, to live in my presence con consistently, you must expose, expose and, and expel your 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 rebellious tendencies. When something interferes with you with your plans or desires, you tend to resent the resent the interference. Try to become aware of each resentment, however petty it may seem. Don't push those unpleasant feelings down. Instead, let them come come to the surface where where you can deal with them. Ask my spirit to increase your awareness of resentful feelings. Bring them boldly into the light of my presence so that I can free you from them. The ultimate solution to 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 rebellious tendencies is submission to my authority over you. Intellectually, you rejoice in my sovereignty without Without which the world would be terif would be a terrifying place. But when my sovereign will encroaches on your little domain of domain of control, you often react with with tell tale resentment. The best response to loses to losses or or thwarted hopes is praise. The Lord gives and the Lord takes away. Blessed be the name name of the Lord. Remember that all good things, your positions, your family and friends, your health and abilities, your time, are gifts from me. Instead of feeling entitled to all these blessings, respond to them with gratitude. Be, be prepared to let go of anything I take from you, but never let go of my hand. And the three verses from today for today are Psalms 139, 23, and 24. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there's any offensive way in me. And lead me in the way everlasting. First, first Peter 5, 6 says this. Humble yourselves, therefore, under God's mighty hand. And Job 1, 21 says this. And he said, The Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So you see right there in today's even in even in today's devotional, it just goes to show you that no matter what goes on, the Lord God still deserves all the praise, honor, and glory forever and ever. Amen. Now we're in Psalms one thirteen, and the title is "Who is like the Lord our God." Who is like the Lord our God? And this is what the Word of God says. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore, from the rising of the sun to its setting, that the name, the name of the Lord is to be praised. The Lord is high above all nations, and His glory above the heavens. Who is like the Lord our God, who is seated on high? who looks far down on the heavens and the earth. He raises the poor from the dust and lifts, lifts the needy from the ash heap to make them sit with princes, with princes, with the princes of his people. He gives the barren woman a home, making her joyous, making her the joyous mother of children. Praise the Lord. Amen. 
Now, who is like the Lord our God? Did you know that there is no one else beside the Lord God Almighty who is like? There is no one else better than our God. Our God is worthy to be praised. Why, you may ask? Because he's the one who created everything. He created the heavens and the earth. He created me and he created you. Why? He, he, he created us out of his love for us. He wants the best for you. Did you know that you can give God the praise 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year? But I want you to do that. I want you to give God praise today. Whether you're at the high point of a mountain or the low part in the valley. No matter what you're going through. You give God the praise and he will honor you and bless you beyond your wildest imaginations. That is my message for you guys today. So, who is like the Lord who is like the Lord God Almighty? No one. There's only one God. His name is Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Nisi. He is he is the he is the El Shaddai. He is our everything. And he loves you and me. And I'll keep on saying this until my dying days. He loves you so much that he loves you beyond your wildest imagination. I want you just to let that sink in for today. That's my message for, message for you guys today. So guys, if you like this video, you know what to do. Smash that like button. Leave a positive comment down below. Hit the, hit the notification bell twice to get notified of all, all that I post. And also hit that wonderful subscribe button as well. Guys, have a great day. God bless. And remember, you are loved by God. Have a great day, everybody. God bless you all. And to God be the glory.